with me is Sebastian Ponsolis, yes. uh, the founder of MoneyFi and, and Odyssey. So uh, we were talking about both companies. So I guess let's start with the structure. Like, is MoneyFi the parent of Odyssey? Actually, it's the opposite. The opposite? opposite? Okay, yeah. so tell me how it works. No. Okay. We started uh, Odyssey Group, Financial Group. It's uh, basically we started doing the ATM networks okay. here in the States. And uh, MoneyFi is uh, one of the companies part of that group now. Okay. Um, Odyssey has uh, 10 different companies now working uh, in cash management industry. Okay. Uh, doing uh, ATMs, uh, software transaction for that. Uh, we develop Octone, which is the switching for uh, to control those ATMs. We have also Titan Industries. Uh, we manufacture the, the ATMs and the machines, oh, wow. smart bolts. Uh, so it's kind of like the whole line from the yeah, manufacturing so to the transactions, right? Correct. And okay. we issue debit cards, actually, our own debit cards worldwide. Okay. So um, so is MoneyFi then a relatively new part of Odyssey? Yes, absolutely. New. Okay. So let's talk about that a little bit. Like, what is MoneyFi? MoneyFi is the first uh, blockchain exchange uh, of digital asset worldwide to replace the uh, regular mm, currency remittance worldwide. We create that tool, Monify, um, based on the ATMs, so we can solve the problem for the regular people to withdraw the money all over the world uh, at a very low cost, uh, faster than uh, you know any other system. And uh, it's, it's uh, absolutely reliable based on blockchain technology. So explain, so would I still then go to an actual device, to a location, or would I be doing this all on a mobile device? Yes, we can, you can do it through any other device. You can do it through the, uh, you know, we call the ATM that's the uh, last anthropological monetary mile. Okay. It was the last contact between the fiat and the person. Okay. And, uh, but we created a whole ecosystem around that through the mobile phones, uh, desktop, everything, uh, and we you can you can get a cash in for that system through any device, as the, with a, with a debit card or whatever, and you can get a cash out in your mobile phone all on another point of the world. Okay. So you can send money from here to Mexico or Europe or vice versa, I see. and get the money back here in your wallet in your. In your so I may phone. never actually touch the actual dollars or whatever you, you uh -huh. can if you want okay. you can you can get cash out cash out from any other system but uh basically we just you know uh create an ecosystem of uh, digital asset trading so uh, it's much cheaper than anything yeah. so how did you come up with the idea of money five it was uh it's not funny actually it's a it's a crazy idea so i was on the one of the retail store and uh, I bought a uh, license uh, for $100 for one of the software companies. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was here in South Florida. I took that code, put it in my shirt, and flew uh, 9,000 miles overseas. I gave one of my IT managers that car and say thank you for the code. And just um, say, you know what, I'm just trading, and this is digital asset. I put a mo real money in one in the States and take that money in form of this is the asset to another part of the world and just recreate that asset mm -hmm. and as a code. So um, that's the base of the concept of uh, Monify. Monify, you got uh, one Nemo coin. Nemo coin is going to be the stable coin where you can trade on Monify. And uh, Nemo coin comes from new monetary order. Okay. So um, that Nemo coin is going to be buy here, mm -hmm. purchase here. And you can send the code to Argentina or Italy, and you can trade back in those countries and get the money. Yeah. It's it seems simple. like in a generation, the way we deal with money is going to be a lot different than we do now. It just yes. seems like there's so, there's so much going on technology-wise mm -hmm. um, with cryptocurrencies and with electronic transactions uh -huh. and blockchain. That I mean, how do you see things shaping up in let's say 25 years? Well, actually, it's going to be you know what always something different like now. But it's going to be not so different. Mm -hmm. yeah, so in the normal evolution of technology, um, I've been here probably 15 years ago about the digital money. We have a we had here in states in '94 uh, digital money actually, it, it, but the technology wasn't there yet. Now the technology is here. Yeah. You have blockchain, you have uh, the cryptocurrency, and even have the old politics behind that. Yeah. The Fed, you know, is starting to allow the, the banks to do something with that. Shipping more, I did that yeah. last week. And um, it's, it's going to be crazy in the next years. 
but it's, it's kind of a term of convergency mm -hmm. between the fiat, the regular money, money still needed in the world. You know, the monetary base in the States been doubled in 10 years or less between 2006 and 2016. So uh, still the, mo the people need real money. 45% yeah. of the transactions under $25 here in the States are made in cash. So the people need, still need cash, yeah. but still, but the, the people actually demand more and more digital tools. Mm -hmm. um, and we need solving that. We also have, we own a manufacturing plant for semiconductors. We produce the EMV chips okay. and the dual interface for the cards, mm -hmm. and the, the evolution is incredible. It's fascinating to thank kind of imagine the future and how this is all going to yeah. go. So thank you. And thank you very much. Thank and you. thank you as well for joining us. I'm Jane King at the NASDAQ Market Site. Have a great day. Thank you.